you know, we are a multi-billion dollar organization. Though we strive for performance improvement, you know, sometimes we expect mediocre performance. Change is hard, and we come up with a lot of reasons why we can't change. We're too big, it's too hard, it's too complex, we need more resources. And it's, sometimes it seems like it's easier to articulate what we cannot do with what we do not have. Whereas under, under an operating company model, uh, leaders at all levels must now articulate not what we can do, but what will you do with what you already have. It is crucial that we have, uh, we have clearly defined measurable criteria that we are going to have all of our folks do. It has taken a long time to get all of our staff in Bavaria Medac under performance objectives and then ensure that regular and recurring counseling is taking place once that is done. Um, but all this is part of how we are changing from the way, the way we were running to an operating company model. Incentives are aligned, goals are aligned, objectives are aligned so that one person doing well cannot harm somebody else. All people have to be working towards the same set of goals. When you look at the, the transient, or the, you know, the, the, how often we move in the military, for example, why should my performance objectives change drastically from where I am today in the military health care system? Let's say you know, I'm in position X at station 1, and I PCS to station two, but I go right into the same job that where I was before. Shouldn't the performance objectives be the same for those? If we have one voice and one standard, our patients, our staff, and everybody involved in the operating company is really going to be comfortable with the care that we're providing. I feel that the operating company model is important from a standpoint of utilizing lessons learned and best practices at the clinic that have developed at the clinic disseminated back up to the enterprise model, uh, to the enterprise, the, the command uh, area, the brigade. And in the brigade uh, level, they're basically looking at those lessons learned, seeing how they fit the organization, and dissemin disseminating them out to the, to the other clinics so that it's a matching model among uh, all of the clinics. It's the standard. If we get the 95% or the 90% solution from the corporate headquarters, so to speak, with, with a little bit of 5 to 10 percent variability for conditions at our location, that sets us up for success. It's all about uh, trying to increase value for the entire community and organization. And so we work together, you know, Mark and I work together uh, very closely. Having a parent community is really helpful. Uh, you know, we talk daily about how we can uh, standardize things so that uh, on one side, at the graph side, we're not doing things any differently than, than we are on the bill sex side. So the operating company model is not something different than we normally have done. In fact, the AMED and how we do business is aligned quite well to take this on. Mm -hmm.